close your eyes and find your breath. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths to see where you feel the breathing right now. Let it be refreshing. Think of what the body needs. If it needs to be calmed down, think of breathing in a way that's relaxing. If it needs to be energized, breathe in a way that gives you more energy. In other words, look after the body, and at the same time you will be looking after the mind. This mind is our most important possession. You've got the body, you get it for a while, and you're going to have to leave it. And even before you leave it, it does funny things. It gets sick in this way, it gets sick in that way. And this ability goes, and that ability goes. In the beginning, it seems like you're just getting more and more abilities, but then after a while they, they take them away again. So what do you have to depend on? Well, you've got the state of your mind. Now, if you don't look after the mind, the mind is not going to be all that reliable. So you've got to tend to it. You've got to care for it. This is your real possession. Think about getting born in this human realm, or any of the realms. What do you have to show for it? Like today, they say it's my birthday, but it's also probably been your birthday at some point. Every day of the year has been your birthday in one lifetime or another. Their births are that many, and much more than that. We've probably had this. We've all been born on December 20th many, many times. So what is there to show for all this? What are the good qualities you've gotten in mind? After all, we are human beings right now. That shows we've got something to show for it. But don't let that go to waste. You have to take this opportunity you have and invest it. It's like gaining a profit. You don't just sit there and eat the profits. You've got to take the profits and invest them again so that you have something to eat on into the future. And of course, eventually we get, when we get the mind to a point where it is, doesn't have to eat anymore. But in the meantime, make sure that you provide for its food, provide for its nourishment. That way you're really looking after yourself. So th every day you wake up thinking, this is, this is your birthday, but it's also probably been your death day as well. We've all died on these days, every day of the year, in one life or another. And when you go and you leave one body and you pick up another one, okay, what kind of body are you going to pick up? What kind of qualities are you going to be able to take with you as you go from one to another? These are questions we all have to stop and think about every, every day. The Buddha said to remind yourself that okay, aging, illness, and death are things that follow inevitably on birth. I was talking recently with a student of mine in Singapore. He's visiting a man in the hospital who had been smoking, and now he had lung cancer. He was dying of lung cancer, and every day his wife and his children would come and they would berate him for having smoked all that time and say, see, now you're dying because you, oh, you smoked, you didn't listen to us when we told you to stop. Tan King went in and the guy, he said the guy at that point, was his throat was so swollen he couldn't speak. But he said to him, you know why you're dying? He said, you're dying because you were born. And the man grabbed hold of his hand and smiled. That's the truth about things. And we are, we're born and it puts us in the line to die. So you want to know what I'm going to take with me. Now, where am I going to go after that? These are questions that you ask yourself every day so you can work on taking good things with you and providing a good place for you to go. And it turns out that taking good things with you means that you also help other people around you. I mean, it's generosity, virtue, and meditation. These are the big things that put value into our minds, value into our hearts. And other people benefit them from them as well. This is what's special about the Buddha's teachings. The happiness he teaches us to look for is a happiness that spreads around. Not like the happiness of the world where one person gains and another person has to lose. In this way, everybody gains. So look at your life, look at your birth, look at your death, and look at what goes in between from the birth to the death and then from the, dirt, the death to the rebirth. Make sure you've got something to show for all this. Now we can really say, be said to have profited from each life, and use the profits so that you can profit even more.